you guys think that compared to men, that women have dating on easy mode as compared to men? Yes. What, do you, what, what do you, you mean, mean by dating? Yeah, yeah. Do you mean just going on dates, getting mm. that foot in the door? Or do you mean having like a healthy, meaningful relationship? Yeah. I would say both. You could say both. You gotta define dating. Well, one is, I would say for no, for anything. I think just women have it easy. Honestly, like if you just go out there, regardless of what type of women you are, trust me. Like you just be like, who wants this? Somebody's gonna be like me. You do that as a guy, you're gonna get arrested. But that's not a. That's not a. Yeah, that's not. That's a great way to get a stalker. I feel like dating involves relationships. Hold on, one microphone at a time, guys. Go ahead. I feel like dating involves also. If you're just talking about being able to fuck or being able to go on dates, then yeah, women have it easier. But if you're talking about facilitating actual meaningful connections and relationships, I don't necessarily know how women have that easier. But I mean, couldn't you make the argument that at least, like for example, you were able to get 30 secure 33 dates in a three-month time period? Uh, one of those led to was it We're, a relationship? What, he's one like, of my friends. It didn't lead to a relationship, but okay. But you hooked up with him in yeah. any case. But it, perhaps it could have. At least you have the opportunity there, because for a lot, a lot of men's experience on, for example, dating apps, it might be they don't get any matches. They don't. They don't get any matches. Maybe they get like maybe. Dating right. apps are unique right. though. I know a lot of people date. That you need to get off dating apps. Yeah, why would you? Use I'm, not, I'm not. Yeah. Dating yeah. apps are horrible. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, dating well, apps are so bad. I'm like not, I tried. Okay. I did a social experiment. Okay, I like created profiles for like some of my friends with like their pictures and everything. My God, that's like so depressing. Like guys, you need to delete dating apps. Go out there, find something you're into. I don't know, man. Woodworking, beer tasting. Go meet some new people. You're gonna meet somebody, but please just delete dating apps. Like it's I completely so disagree. I had, like, I'm not good at going out and meeting people, and I can never tell if like someone I'm actually interested in is interested in me back. So I remember when I started college and like Tinder became a thing, and it was that weight lifted off my shoulder. Like, oh my gosh, this guy's actually Do you have interesting. A CD? Oh, you just doxed yourself. Do you have a CD? Hello? Huh? Tinder came out when you were in college. Okay, hold on. <laughs> 2012, you were in college. Okay, so you're. Okay, okay, it's, it's figured out. We know your exact <laughs> birthday, but. I graduated high school early, so. Do you uh, have OCD? Okay. Just. Uh, maybe mild, not like super. I like but organized like, you like, chaos. Yeah, you like organized things. So chaos. So I like organized chaos. So it's like. So organized, okay. <laughs> no, not. <laughs> but not you like things to have like label, be identified, like nothing led to uh, No, so do you know, do you know who Adam Savage is? No. He did Mythbusters, so he has a channel. It's really good. You should check it out. Um, but so he believes in organized chaos. So I went to art school, and so it's one of those things where you have to see all your stuff, so that way you can visualize how you're going to utilize That's it. That's ADHD brain, basically. I well, wouldn't say that, <laughs> but it was just something that I mean, as compared to going to a bar, and I'm like, okay, I'm not interested in that guy. I'm not interested in that guy. I'm not interested in this guy. It's kind of a waste of my time, and I don't have a lot of time to spare. So when I was on Tinder, I was like. Okay, I like this guy. I don't like this don't guy. Don't you think that you want um, satisfaction like quickly, as quickly as possible? Like, are you willing to start a friendship to just try to maybe find a friend, a best friend, and that best friend could potentially lead to a happy relationship? Because that's what I found out. Uh, you know, well, I got, ma- I got I, I married. I did get that, but this is yeah. when I'm in college, oh, yeah. and I don't have. I, I was in college. I'm like, I kind of want to go on dates. I want to have a boyfriend. I want to do that, but I don't have time to go out and do it. So I'll do this for an hour. I go do my work. I'll check it in a couple of days. Did you guys met each other on dating? No, no, no. no. There you go. Well, I I wasn't really looking for a serious relationship when I was in college. I just wanted to casually date. So casually fuck? No, casually date. That's two different things. Oh, okay. Dating apps can be useful. I think that's the point Anna's trying to They're useful for social studies. They not could, really. You could. It's not like you. It's impossible to find someone to date. You could, but it's not the most effective way to do it because you can't really feel someone out the same way on a dating app that you would in real life. It's so depressing and like superficial. How like. Not really. Why do I mean, they ask guys to put their height and stuff, and like they just seem to be all well, obsessed with that now. Well, you don't have to. Well, there's other like, aspects of attraction too that yeah. you can't see online, right? You can't. You don't know their smell, right? You don't know. Exactly. Like, I'm, I'm a very, like, one-on-one person. It's like if there's a vibe with somebody or just if there's a friendship. Like, I ended up, you know, I'm, like, I'm pretty much dating my best friend right now. And we're, I mean, I've never been this happy in my life, honestly. And I think that's what was lacking in my previous marriage is that there wasn't a strong friendship in the beginning. There was just... Yeah, that's definitely... I think most people would prefer not to be like, yeah, I met on a dating app. I think most people was prefer to meet in real life it's but it's not always possible right yeah but i'm kind of i'm kind of curious why the question was asked about like 
men versus women and like who has sorry, it harder? It's already done. Sorry, what's that? Why, why was the question asked in regard to men versus women who have it worse? Why, why was yeah. it asked? Well, yeah. I mean, she, she mentioned that she had gone on 33 dates in a three month time period, which I think is, uh, I, would, I would say that in order for you to be able to pull that off as a guy, that puts you in the top like 1% of men who could pull off securing that many dates. Whereas I think like, honestly, if a woman was so inclined, I would say honestly, the top 50% of women could very easily secure that sort of attention from men. So if that's true, then what? Yeah, but who really cares? I mean, yeah, it, these, I, these are pretty superficial relationships anyway, so. I mean, I guess I Not saw the city, but, but like. At least you have the opportunity there for one of these scenarios to p potentially maneuver into a relationship. I would say with dating apps, you're right, but I don't think it's that way. In, but you're right that a lot of relationships are now facilitated through online. You kind of see both genders complain about dating and the lack of commitment in general. So I don't think being able to just like date around and like sleep around is the same thing as like a committal relationship. But I, I, I see what you're saying, but for example, and I, I don't know everyone's philosophy on this, but I would say most modern relationships, it's the way most relationships start. I don't think it's typically, okay, let's go on 10 dates, then hook up, then sleep together, then get, in, like get into a relationship first, then sleep together. I think the way it works for most adult relationships is people hook up fairly early on and then they continue hooking up and then they find themselves in a relationship. I'm not, not, not for everybody. I'm but. not sure if that's the case. Like it does happen for sure, but in terms of that actually leading up to commitment, I don't hear that many stories of like that actually turning out to be a healthy long-term relationship. But I guess it depends sure. what your goals are in dating. Like, I don't know if her goal in dating is to marry, right? Yeah. No. Like, or I don't know what your goal is. 